So I decided to go all in with the no SSD plots, uh, C15, 50 gigabyte size plots to create them surprisingly with just a CPU. I don't have, I only have the integrated GPU in this machine. It's not doing anything. You can see the CPU is working away. So CPU only plotting all memory, 128, well, it's less than 128, but uh, all memory plots, four minutes almost exactly with a Ryzen 7700. CPU, not GPU, that's crazy. So once I saw this happening, I said, well, I got 256 gigs of memory in my workstation. So went over there and found out on that machine, I can do CPU plots with eight minutes, about double the time, but I'd say I got a much slower CPU in this one. You can see it's not even maxed out either. Uh, but the reason I have to use CPU, because uh, I do have two GPUs in here, and initially I said, well, how about I plot and mine on one GPU and then plot on the other GPU? But that's when I found out, at least for C15, mining needs 4.49 gigabyte and plotting needs 4.26. So it says I only have 8 gigabyte video memory in each of my 1080s or 1070s that puts me out of the running for this. If anyone watching this has a 10 gig or even 12 gig card, I would be fascinated to see if you can throw mining and plotting at one of those cards at the same time, because technically you should be able to do it. If it's less than five gigs and you've got a 10 gig video card, you should be able to pull off mining and plotting in that 10 gig. And then if you got 12, of course, no problem at all. If you knock down the compression, you can actually mine with a lot less video. And I did try this, but I still wasn't able, I don't have any C14 plots to try, but when I put it at C14 mining, it couldn't allocate it even with this. So I think Windows has probably got some limitations on how much it can uh, allocate. But I'd be curious to see if you have a 10 gig or 12 gig card, what you can pull off in terms of mining and plotting at the same time on that card. Then you would have one card to mine and plot and another one to plot. And then you could do a CPU plot if you had more, if you had five 12 gigs of memory. You can see each, pretty much each instant takes up about 110 gigs of memory. So as long as you got the memory, you can pull off as many plots in parallel as you want. And you can see right now the uh, CPU one fairly quickly is spitting these out. Uh, the mining one gets confused because it's it thinks that this file is one of the files it created. It has no idea I have another instance running over here. So it gets a little bit confused. Fortunately, it can't delete them or remove them. So it just keeps on going. And I've dedicated this one to just my F drive, which means this drive will exclusively be written by this thread. And the other drives that I have on here will round robin with this one. It'll still keep checking the F drive, but it's never gonna try and write to the F drive. It's always gonna pick another one with less space. So that's one way to get around uh, multi-thread. I don't think this is really designed for multi-threading. You do have to set in the um, config, you have to tell it to use the cache in a different directory than the default. Otherwise it won't start. But as long as you tell it, I think it's dash S. If you set the dash S to a different location on your plotter, that's this one, it will uh, write out the plots. The farming and um, plotting one, though, this one will continue to round robin to the smallest drive and spit it out there. Seems to be working well. I did lose about three minutes on my GPU, but I'm still putting out two plots every eight minutes versus one every six. So it's still pretty quick uh, using all the memory, too. So something to try if you're on no SSD, uh, two threads on a 256 gig, or you really can't beat four minute plots on CPU only. So if you got a machine sitting around with no GPU, might as well put it to work doing uh, C15 plots.